Hey, hi friends, my name is Brian and today I'm going to be doing a couple of videos on my 2007 Ford Escape Hybrid. Uh, this is a vehicle I picked up for a bargain through a copart auction. Um, and the uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the roof rack off. Um, and I'm actually replacing it with a proper ladder rack because the factory rack is just flimsy. Um, but I know there's a lot of people who are interested in how to remove it and what to do about the holes that are left. So. Um, I hope you enjoyed my video and I'm going to show you how I handle this. So we got to undo these. There are six screws along the side and I'm going to find something to stand on because uh, I'm pretty sure these are Phillips. Yep. So they're just standard Phillips. Um, wrench or gun or drill. Well, maybe. Maybe not. That one stripped. So I switched to a number two bit, which is a bigger bit, or maybe this is, oh sorry, this is a Phillips number three, and it happens to be a perfect fit, and it got two of them out. So I've got one that is uh, pretty hopeless looking. I don't know what I'm going to do about it. Yeah, that, that one's toast. So I'll come back to it in a minute. So what I've learned so far is that it is a number three Phillips bit, and you, and there is some sort of Loctite or thread thread locker on here to keep these still. And they're not too bad once you have the right bit. Now it could be that the other was just way, way better in there than this one is. Yeah, I don't know. But I'm pretty sure this side is out. There we go. Or as I like to say, good riddance. So it looks pretty good underneath here. Needs a little, needs a lot of cleaning. I'm gonna take the screws, put them away. Makes any sense is to drill out the head of this, and so I've got a quarter inch bit, and I'm just gonna dig into this screw a little bit, and take the head off.
Oh, it's um, not perfect, but quite frankly, I'm not going to use that screw hole again anyway, so I'll just put some 4200 on it and call it a day. Next thing I need to do is clean up the top of this, so I'm going to get some uh, simple green and some paper towels and get to it. Okay, so before I go any further, I'm going to go ahead and start plugging up the holes I'm not going to use, which is all the original factory holes. I'm just going to put a screw back in them. It doesn't really matter. I may change my mind and want to put a better screw in at some point. So I'm using 3M4200. Now this comes in a 3200, which is real sticky. 4200, which is almost permanent. And 5200, which will take the material off with it. So don't use 5200 because you will never get it back out again. And you only need to put a dab of this in here. It's going to act as a thread sealant. It is a polyurethane based adhesive, so it is water activated for cure. And it is, like most 3M products, it is an absolutely wonderful adhesive. This is probably one of the best sealants I've ever found. Okay, so now I'm just going to drive these in. And I don't have to really torque them, I just want to drive them all the way down. I will torque them if I need to. 